Zimbabwe. Belarusian president visits Zimbabwe to conduct business. On Monday, January 30th, 2023, Belarusian President Alexander Lukashenko arrived at the Robert Mugabe International Airport in Harare, Zimbabwe. The previous day, a Belarusian business delegation met with his Zimbabwean counterparts. According to Newswire, the owner of Belarusian agriculture supply company, Aftrade, Alexander Zingman signed several contracts involving the sale of tractors and harvesters, the construction of grain storage facilities, and the sale of mining and timber equipment. Since 2019, Aftrade has provided Zimbabwean commercial farmers with 1,800 new tractors and harvesters after Zimbabwean President Emerson Nangagwa announced that the Zimbabwean agriculture industry possessed only 9,000 of the 40,000 tractors needed to mechanize and tackle the nation's 4,130,000 hectares of arable land. Consequently, Zimbabwe produced enough grain in 2022 to feed itself for the first time in 50 years. More recently, Aftrade has contracted with the Zimbabwean government to sell an additional 3,700 tractors and 60 harvesters for over $66 million by mid-2024. As reported by Newswire, Aftrade will also provide Zimbabwe with equipment to build modern grain storage facilities. Although the details of this agreement have not been disclosed, according to a report by Newswire, Zimbabwe needs to spend over $275 million in the next three years to build grain storage facilities to add 750,000 tons of storage space to the current 500,000 tons. As reported in Newswire, state-owned diamond company, Zimbabwe Consolidated Diamond Company, signed an agreement with Bellas to deliver some of the largest dump trucks in the world, and with Sora Overseas FZE for mine equipment. Likewise, state-owned lumber company, Allied Timbers, signed a deal to purchase lumber equipment.